God is in the business of raising ordinary men. In this season, you will see men who don't look like it, but they will still be used as mighty tools. And that includes you if you are interested. Don't sit down and say, listen, when it was time for Samuel to anoint the next king, there was Eliab, well built, already positioned for the palace, looking like you, the seat will fit you. But God said, that's not how I work. Go and find that young boy. There are some of you, God brought you to this conference because he has been looking for you. How do I get you to anoint you? How do I separate you to anoint you? And God created a convergence, a meeting like this as an opportunity to place something upon your life. Hallelujah. The only condition, ladies and gentlemen, there is a place for diligence. Success has principles and laws, but the greatest that I know is to be an available vessel the greatest principle i know and believe me i have known and by the grace of god i have taught the precepts that can help men to ascend heights in life and destiny the greatest of them that i know beyond your prayer beyond your fasting you can fast with a heart that is full of lust and just wanting self glorified you can pray with a heart that is just full of self the greatest preparation for an extraordinary life is total surrender total surrender when all of you becomes a tool a mirror to reveal jesus in its entirety you have signed up for a life of greatness where you will be envied by nations they will look around your life and you don't look like it what exactly is the factor in the life of this man of god this businessman this parent that you may not be educated but you can gather your four or five children and say lord i may come from a family that does not have any comeliness but i hand over these five children there are two girls and three boys make out of them everything you desire and god said that is it let me make one a prophet one esther one elijah one ruth let me make one Gideon and you will watch those ordinary children from their lowly estate because of a covenant that their parents had with God. If you are looking for the secret to being mightily used by God, I can tell you prayer, fasting and all these other spiritual activities only become relevant when your heart condition has been sorted otherwise it can become a ritual a burdensome ritual that is just a display of hypocrisy and fanatism without genuine connection hallelujah this is the reason why god continues to isolate certain people and to scale height for seven years i've had the honor and the privilege of coming to this church and i have watched god lift his servant i have watched god lift the household of david i can tell you there may be a lot of things that were put in terms of systems administration but the greatest basis for the lifting of men i remember one time we're traveling to abelkuta and pastor was driving me and we're going and we're discussing and all we're discussing was our love for jesus and the fact that in his prophetic end time program we can position ourselves to reveal him when it becomes about joshua selman you have lost touch with eternal things when it becomes about wanting fame when it becomes about wanting greatness in isolation to the revelation of jesus you have lost it everything in the kingdom finds its relevance from its ability to reveal jesus i am gifted your gift does not matter to god until you hand it over as a drink offering and say lord can you use this gift you gave me the ability use it for my glory i'm saying this because before we get into the impartation we are going to have five minutes of total surrender you're going to be handing over everything the first assignment this morning is a handover ceremony hand over that ministry so that it does not kill you for nothing hand over your children hand over your gift in everything it says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him god does not keep what you have he keeps what is committed to him Jesus said 
some of you here are men of God already some of you are being groomed to be the end time battle acts that the Lord will be using in Lagos and across the West can I tell you you are only scheduling your life for disappointment if all you think that will make you a great man of God is just revelation and the ability to preach well it takes more than good speaking prowess to affect a generation there is something a message that only your heart and your work with God can deliver to a generation there are some of you here who have been ordained to be God's end time financial apostles but as it is right now in spite of your business acumen in spite of your strategic relationships beautiful ideas that you have on paper it may never truly come to fruition because something about your heart is not yet surrendered apostle i've been trusting god for a husband i've been trusting god for a wife what is it about a spouse god cannot give me he's waiting until the state of your heart becomes a messless reflection of his glory because there is a prophet that has been ordained to come from your womb and with this kind of orientation you would destroy the destiny of that child you do not yet know the purpose of your pregnancy so god is working on you dear mary he will delay you from getting married to joseph until you understand that the reason why he kept you is because jesus wants to pass through your womb listen i've had the honor and the privilege and i'm saying this with every sense of responsibility and humility there are things god told me many years ago i would not have imagined that he will make them happen at this level of my life i have stood before kings and presidents i have stood before billionaires i have stood before people that would be an honor for ordinary men to stand in god has taken me to places that has left me in tears and many times i ask god why and the simple answer is for as long as you are available he told me this many years ago that if you will let men see me there is nothing i would not give you if you will let men see me i was discussing not too long with one of our fathers of faith in this nation and i was just asking him a few questions as to consistency in ministry and i looked at him and i learned something from his life there is never an arrival mentality with him that every time i've had the opportunity to drink from the wealth of his many years of knowledge all that you hear him say is that there is more and with humility and childlike faith i become stretched to know that we've done much maybe a little but there is still a lot more to be done for someone you came for this conference so that the grace of god will swallow pride away from you because that pride is building itself to become the obstacle that stops you from going forward you pride yourself in all the whole paraphernalia of your achievements and god is saying in his presence even though you are an elder you will still remove your crown the bible says the elders take away their golden crown it takes a lot to be an elder your crown is proof of your achievement but you can take it down so that we don't waste our time impartation is not just about falling down and rising it's not just about shouting amen the foundation for genuine impartation is that you must die to self you must die to self many people wonder why they attend anointing services hands are laid upon them prophetic words come it will only rest upon the lust that is hidden in the heart it is only god who knows the state of our heart there are people today if god prospers you like you have been praying for you will become a casualty to yourself your family and the kingdom there are people if god opens certain doors it's not demons that are closing the door it's the mercy of god that is keeping that door from being closed because because there is a state of heart you must have for that open door to profit you hallelujah this has been my desire to stir up a generation to love Jesus number one but to see to it that in your death is your life you must die to self die to your ambitions to die to them is not to ignore them to die to them is to exalt Jesus above them and to connect every ambition 
to the revelation of Jesus. I stand before the Lord Jesus Christ and I am speaking to his people with every sense of sincerity. I have no other agenda in my life except to see Jesus revealed. Even if God prohibits me from preaching today, the mission of Jesus being revealed through my life continues because preaching was only one of the ways. Hallelujah. If you can get to this stage today where you say, Lord, purge my heart. I have idols in my heart. I want to prosper so I can prove a point to people that I'm not a failure. Too small a reason. I want to be great. Give me children so that people will stop calling me barren woman. Too small a reason. Lord, I want to prosper as a young man because I, I just need to feel good. Too small a reason. But the moment kingdom come, becomes part of your agenda the revelation of jesus you have you have entered into the realm of answered prayers you have entered into the realm of speed you have entered into the realm where god finds men makes men and uses them greatly can i tell you god is still looking for men don't say there are enough men jesus himself said the harvest is wide and there are few laborers the prayer is not for the harvest we usually pray longly he said pray that you will find more laborers because when there are more laborers the harvest is doable the problem is we have been praying for laborers as preachers alone preachers are the, not the only kind of laborers we need kingdom financiers as laborers we need men of influence as laborers we need people sent to the system as laborers then of course we need men and women at the pulpit as laborers